it's a $10 billion bet that Toyota is making. A lot of that money will be spent on EV and hybrid production and battery production. In a move that has sent shockwaves through the automotive industry, Toyota has finally unveiled what many are calling the holy grail of electric vehicle technology, production-ready solid-state batteries. This isn't just another incremental improvement, it's a fundamental reimagining of what powers our electric vehicles. With promises of revolutionary range, lightning fast charging times, and enhanced safety that could make current battery technology obsolete, Toyota has positioned itself at the forefront of the next generation of electric mobility. The 2026 target date might seem distant, but make no mistake, this announcement has already changed the competitive landscape of the entire automotive industry overnight. The automotive world stood still when Toyota's CEO took the stage last month, revealing what the company had been secretly perfecting for over a decade. Today marks the beginning of a new era in electric mobility. He announced as technical specifications of Toyota's solid-state battery technology appeared behind him. The numbers were staggering. A battery that could deliver over 745 miles on a single charge, recharge to 80% in under 10 minutes, and last through thousands of charging cycles without significant degradation. Toyota confirmed their solid-state batteries will enter production by early 2026, with the first consumer vehicles hitting showrooms later that year. What makes this announcement particularly credible is Toyota's conservative approach to timelines. They've historically under-promised and over-delivered, unlike some competitors who regularly miss ambitious deadlines. The Japanese automaker revealed they've already constructed a pilot production facility near Nagoya, Japan, currently producing prototype batteries for testing in real-world conditions. This isn't just laboratory theory. Toyota has been quietly logging thousands of test miles using these batteries in modified vehicles. Perhaps most impressively, Toyota claims to have solved the primary challenges that have kept solid-state batteries confined to laboratories, production, scalability, and cost. Through a combination of manufacturing innovations and materials science breakthroughs, they've developed a production process that can be scaled to millions of units annually, essential for mass-market adoption. What makes solid-state batteries special? To understand why Toyota's announcement has electrified the industry, we need to examine what fundamentally separates solid-state batteries from the lithium-ion packs currently powering EVs. The key difference lies right in the name, the electrolyte. In conventional lithium-ion batteries, ions move between the positive and negative electrodes through a liquid electrolyte. This liquid creates numerous engineering challenges. It's flammable, degrades over time, and requires complex cooling systems. It's essentially the battery's Achilles heel. Solid-state batteries replace this liquid with a solid electrolyte material, typically a ceramic, polymer, or sulfide-based compound. This seemingly simple change creates cascading benefits throughout the entire battery system. The solid electrolyte allows for the use of lithium metal anodes, which can store significantly more energy than the graphite anodes used in conventional batteries. The architecture of solid-state batteries also allows for denser packing of cells. Without the need for the same cooling infrastructure, more active material can be placed in the same volume. This density translates directly into greater energy storage capacity. Toyota's solid-state cells reportedly achieve energy densities of 400-500 at Walt Cogjua, roughly double what's possible with today's best lithium-ion cells. Another critical advantage comes from the stability of the solid electrolyte. Unlike liquid electrolytes that degrade and form damaging structures called dendrites during repeated charging and discharging, solid electrolytes maintain their integrity through thousands of cycles. Toyota claims their batteries retain over 90% capacity after 1,000 full charge cycles, potentially translating to over 700,000 miles of driving. Performance breakthroughs, range charging, and safety. The performance metrics of Toyota's solid-state batteries read like a wish list of everything EV owners have been dreaming about. Let's start with the headline figure that matters most to consumers, range. Toyota's prototypes have demonstrated an astounding 745-plus miles on a single charge in real-world testing conditions, not just laboratory estimates. This range breakthrough effectively eliminates the most persistent form of consumer anxiety around electric vehicles. For context, this would allow drivers to travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco and back on a single charge with range to spare. 
It transforms electric vehicles from being suitable for daily commutes to being genuinely viable for long-distance travel without planning around charging stops. Then there's charging speed, perhaps even more revolutionary than the range improvements. Toyota's solid-state technology can handle charging rates of 4C, meaning a full charge in 50 minutes without degradation or safety concerns. In practical terms, this means adding about 300 miles of range in just 10 minutes of charging, comparable to the time it takes to fill a gas tank. This rapid charging capability fundamentally changes the refueling paradigm for electric vehicles. No longer would drivers need to plan activities around lengthy charging sessions. A quick stop could provide hundreds of miles of range while you grab a coffee. Safety improvements are equally impressive but less visually dramatic. Toyota demonstrated this with controlled puncture tests that would cause conventional lithium-ion cells to burst into flames. Their solid-state cells, when subjected to the same abuse, remained stable without thermal runaway. This enhanced safety profile could eliminate the rare but headline-grabbing EV fires that have damaged consumer confidence. The performance envelope extends beyond the basics. Cold weather performance, traditionally a weakness for EVs, is substantially improved with Toyota's solid-state technology. Their batteries maintain over 90% of rated capacity at 20 degrees compared to the 40-60% capacity typical lithium-ion batteries deliver in similar conditions production challenges and Toyota's solutions. Developing amazing battery technology in a laboratory is one thing. Manufacturing it at scale for millions of vehicles is an entirely different challenge. This is where Toyota's decades of manufacturing expertise has proven invaluable and where previous solid-state battery efforts from other companies have faltered. The primary production hurdle has been the creation of a perfect interface between the solid electrolyte and the electrodes. Even microscopic gaps or imperfections can dramatically reduce performance and longevity. Toyota's breakthrough came through a proprietary gradient interface technique that creates a seamless transition between materials at the atomic level. Another significant challenge was the brittleness of ceramic-based solid electrolytes. While excellent conductors of ions, these materials typically crack under the physical stresses of manufacturing and vehicle operation. Toyota developed a composite electrolyte that incorporates polymer elements to provide flexibility without sacrificing conductivity. The manufacturing process itself required reinvention. Traditional battery production lines are designed around liquid electrolyte injection and handling. Toyota had to develop entirely new equipment capable of precisely layering and bonding solid materials with tolerances measured in microns. They've patented a dry room manufacturing environment that eliminates moisture contamination without the extreme dehumidification required for conventional battery production. Cost reduction represented perhaps the greatest challenge. Early solid-state prototypes cost upwards of $100,000 per kilowatt, completely impractical for production vehicles. Through materials innovation and process simplification, Toyota claims their production cost target is under $75 per kilowatt by 2028, comparable to next-generation lithium-ion cells. The first Toyota models getting solid-state tech, Toyota's strategic rollout of solid-state battery technology, will begin with vehicles that showcase the technology's strengths. Leading this electric revolution will be a completely new flagship sedan, internally codenamed Mirai Evolution building on Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell heritage but transitioning to pure battery electric architecture. This vehicle is expected to serve as Toyota's technology demonstrator featuring an estimated 600-plus mile range and supercar-level performance with 060 mph acceleration under 3 seconds. Following closely will be an electric version of the Land Cruiser, leveraging the solid-state battery's durability and range for off-road adventures where charging infrastructure is sparse. Toyota engineers revealed this model has undergone extreme testing in Australia's outback, completing multi-day expeditions without recharging. Perhaps most exciting for mainstream adoption is the planned solid-state Camry EV. As Toyota's best-selling sedan, this model represents the company's commitment to bringing revolutionary technology to everyday drivers. The solid-state Camry is expected to deliver over 500 miles of range in a familiar, practical package at a price point aimed at middle-class consumers. Toyota's luxury brand Lexus won't be left behind, with plans to introduce solid-state technology across its entire lineup by 2028. The first model will be an electric successor to the LS flagship sedan, positioning it as a technical tour de force against competitors like the Mercedes EQS and Lucid Air. 
What's particularly noteworthy is that these vehicles aren't designed merely as compliance cars or limited production halo models. Toyota has confirmed production targets exceeding 100,000 solid-state vehicles in the first year, ramping to over 1 million annually by 2030. This scale underscores Toyota's confidence in both the technology and its manufacturing capabilities. Cost analysis, will these be affordable? The elephant in the room with any revolutionary technology is always cost. Will Toyota's solid-state vehicles carry astronomical price tags that limit them to wealthy early adopters? The company's announcements suggest a more optimistic outlook. Initially, solid-state equipped vehicles will command a premium of approximately 15-20% over comparable lithium-ion-powered models. For context, this would mean a solid-state Camry might start around $40,000 compared to a hypothetical standard EV Camry at $33,000. This premium, while significant, is far less than many industry analysts predicted and substantially lower than the 2 through 3 asset cost multiplier of early solid-state prototypes. Toyota's cost control comes from several strategic decisions. First, they've developed a manufacturing process that shares equipment with existing battery production, reducing capital expenditure. Second, they've focused on reducing dependency on expensive materials like cobalt and nickel that drive up battery costs. Their solid-state chemistry uses more abundant elements, with some variants using no cobalt whatsoever. The long-term cost trajectory looks even more promising, Toyota projects reaching price parity with conventional lithium-ion batteries by 2028-2029 through manufacturing scale and continued materials optimization. By 2030, they predict solid-state technology may actually become less expensive than conventional batteries due to simpler thermal management requirements and longer lifespans reducing warranty costs. From a total cost of ownership perspective, the economics become even more favorable. The extended range means fewer charging cycles over the vehicle's life, preserving battery health. The rapid charging capability reduces opportunity costs associated with charging time. Most significantly, Toyota is targeting a 15-year million-mile battery lifespan, essentially making the battery a lifetime component rather than a wear item requiring replacement. Toyota's strategic advantage in the EV race Toyota's solid-state breakthrough represents more than just technological leadership. It's a vindication of their cautious approach to EV adoption that has often been criticized. While competitors rushed to market with conventional lithium-ion technology, Toyota quietly invested billions in next-generation battery research, betting that patients would yield superior results. This technological leap positions Toyota uniquely against both established automakers and EV startups. Tesla, long considered the battery technology leader, now faces a serious challenge to its dominance. Tesla's next-generation 4680 cells, while impressive, still rely on conventional lithium-ion chemistry with inherent limitations that solid-state technology transcends. Chinese manufacturers like BYD and KTL, who have aggressively scaled up lithium-ion production and currently lead in volume manufacturing, may find their massive investments becoming prematurely obsolete as solid-state technology renders current production lines less competitive. Traditional rivals like Volkswagen, GM and Hyundai have their own solid-state programs, but appear to be years behind Toyota's production readiness. Volkswagen-backed QuantumScape, once considered the leader in solid-state development, has repeatedly delayed commercialization timelines that now stretch beyond Toyota's planned 2026 production. Toyota's strategic masterstroke extends beyond the technology itself to its intellectual property position. The company holds over 1,000 patents specifically related to solid-state battery technology and manufacturing processes. This creates the possibility for Toyota to become not just a vehicle manufacturer, but a leading battery supplier to other automakers who haven't made similar progress. The timing couldn't be better from a market perspective. With global regulations increasingly mandating transitions to zero-emission vehicles, Toyota can leapfrog the intermediate step many competitors are taking with conventional EV technology. Their solid-state vehicles will arrive just as mass EV adoption curves are accelerating in major markets like Europe, China, and the United States. Environmental impact and sustainability Beyond performance and economics, Toyota's solid-state technology offers substantial environmental benefits throughout the battery lifecycle. 
The manufacturing process itself consumes approximately 40% less energy than comparable lithium-ion production, primarily due to the elimination of solvent-based electrode manufacturing and less intensive drying requirements. Resource requirements also show promising sustainability improvements. Toyota's solid-state chemistry reduces dependence on critical materials with problematic supply chains. Their design uses 60% less graphite and 80% less cobalt than current lithium-ion formulations. This not only reduces environmental impact from mining, but also avoids the human rights concerns associated with cobalt extraction in regions like the Democratic Republic of Congo. The extended lifespan of solid-state batteries significantly improves their life cycle environmental footprint. While conventional lithium-ion batteries typically require replacement after 8-10 years in demanding applications, Toyota's solid-state cells are designed to last the entire vehicle lifetime. This eliminates the substantial carbon footprint associated with manufacturing replacement battery packs. End-of-life considerations show further advantages. Toyota has developed a closed-loop recycling process specifically for their solid-state technology that can recover over 95% of critical materials for reuse in new batteries. The solid electrolyte materials are particularly suited for efficient recycling compared to the complex separation required for conventional batteries with liquid components. Toyota is also addressing the embodied carbon in battery manufacturing by powering their new solid-state production facilities entirely with renewable energy. Their Nagoya pilot plant features an integrated solar array and battery storage system that demonstrates how battery production can become a net-zero carbon process. What this means for the future of transportation, Toyota's solid-state breakthrough has implications that extend far beyond the company's own vehicle lineup. It represents a potential inflection point in transportation electrification that could accelerate adoption curves worldwide. For consumers, the elimination of range anxiety and lengthy charging times removes the last major objections to EV adoption. Electric vehicles with solid-state technology offer advantages over internal combustion without the compromises that have limited mainstream acceptance. This could trigger a tipping point where EVs become the obvious choice for most new vehicle purchases. For infrastructure planning, solid-state batteries reduce the pressure for ubiquitous charging networks. Vehicles with 700-plus mile ranges require far fewer charging stations for practical operation, potentially saving billions in infrastructure investment while easing the transition for drivers who can't charge at home. The shipping and aviation industries previously skeptical about electrification due to energy density limitations may now have viable pathways to battery-powered operations. Toyota has already hinted at partnerships with maritime shipping companies to explore solid-state applications for short-sea shipping routes. Urban planning stands to benefit as well. Solid-state EVs with bidirectional charging capability can serve as distributed energy storage systems, helping stabilize electrical grids and enabling higher penetration of renewable energy. A million solid-state vehicles could provide over 100 gigawatt hours of flexible storage capacity equivalent to dozens of utility-scale battery installations. Perhaps most profoundly, solid-state technology may finally sever transportation's century-old dependence on oil, with all the geopolitical implications that entails. Countries without domestic petroleum resources, but with advanced manufacturing capabilities, could find themselves newly advantaged in transportation economics.